Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we've got some AMD news on the RX 400 series of graphics cards that we have been covering on the channel. We know that the whole 400 series lineup is coming out with the 480, 470, and 460. So we got news today on the pricing of these graphics cards that has been spotted. Uh, we also got uh, the full specs of the RX 480, which was released by AMD. And we've also got an initial look at some performance benchmarks on the RX 470. So starting off with the 480 and the specs of that, if you remember back when that was announced, we only got a limited amount of specs on the card. We didn't know the, uh, you know, the clock rate and things like that, you know, how many stream processors were going to be on the card. We knew it had greater than five teraflops of compute performance and 36 compute units, and there were going to be four gigabyte and eight gigabyte models, and it was starting at around $199. Well, today we now know that it's going to be clocked at 1266 megahertz with 2,300 104 stream processors. And if you remember actually earlier this month, right after this announcement, there was a story posted on Tech Power Up with a screenshot from Computex that I had actually reported on where it showed that this card was running at 1266 megahertz. So we've basically got confirmation that that leak back then on June 1st from Tech Power Up was true. So always nice to see, uh, you know, when these stories do get validated further down the line from the actual graphics card manufacturers. So AMD, you know, the RX 480 going to be shipping at 1266 megahertz. What do you guys think about the specs on this card? Uh, you know, let me know down in the comments below. I'm I'm actually planning to pick up two of them, I think. I'm The, the, the pricing on the 480, I think, is just going to be so damn competitive that it's, uh, you know, it'd be st it would be stupid not to pick them up as a system builder. That's really why I'm like so excited about this launch. I've seen a lot of de like sort of default cynicism in in the comments. Not everyone, but there has been a, a minority of people that have had a lot of cynicism about the launch of the RX 480. Like, oh, it's a $200 graphics card. Who cares? Well, for me, I can at least tell you why I care. As a system builder, it's it's exciting to be able to. Uh, you know, have affordable, more more options that are affordable. And not only that, but then the prices of the other cards get driven down su substantially, not only on uh, the used market, but the new market as well. So we got some leaked pricing here. I guess I guess you can call it leaked. Well, it's like a P this is like a PC builder website over in Germany, something like you would see over here with like I buy power PC where you can customize all the parts of your build. So it shows here that the RX 480 8 gigabyte model is 249 euros. Now I'm going to go ahead and assume that these are reference models and then they have the 4 gigabyte version of that 480 for 209 euros. This also rounds up with the 470 which is 149 euros and the 460 2 gigabyte card at 79 euros, which would be insanely low. You know, that is, that is more of the uh, the esports card, but you know, based on you know, I I would think that card could, should still be able to handle some some light 1080p gaming, and if it's coming in at 79 euros, like under a hundred dollars, that could be a really interesting card to see at that price point. And the 480, once again, you know, uh, just around like 200 dollars, 250 dollars for the eight gigabyte version, which is what some people had been speculating about. And for me, I would definitely be a buyer at the eight gigabyte model at $250. That'd be about what I'd want to spend and get like two of those guys and, you know, lace them up in crossfire and see what they can do when we let them out and run. Okay. So following that up though, we've also got a benchmark here. Uh, this is from AMD now specifically. These, these numbers were released by AMD. So you should just you know, take them at that, you know, whenever we see numbers like this from NVIDIA or AMD or whoever, you should always kind of, you know, read into them for what they are. It's that this is the developer. They want you to see their card in the best light possible. So it's just, you should really just take it for that. So on this here, they did do a test on Hitman. You could see 1080p running at high. They compared the 470 to the 270X and it shows the 470 getting 60 FPS. I'm assuming locked versus 28 FPS on the 270X. And we also have Overwatch on here with the RX 470 pulling in an average of 121 FPS versus 76 FPS of the 270X, which is really impressive at max settings on 1080p, considering I just benchmarked the R7 370, which is around $150, and that was only able to get 122 FPS, but that was at medium. So now doing that at max settings is just a massive improvement on a card that is around the same exact price point. They also got Ashes of the Singularity here running at 1080p on high, getting 46 average FPS versus 28 on the 270X. Lastly, down here, we do have a synthetic benchmark from 3D Firestrike. Shows here, this is on the normal settings, 
the RX 470 getting a 9090 uh, graphics score. I'm assuming this is graphics score. I don't believe it specifies, but that should be the graphics score. So yeah, 9090 on the 470, which puts it at better than a 780, just under a 290, which is still amazing for a card that's going to be around $150. This is really, like I said, for a system builder, this is extremely exciting when you start talking to people about their budgets for builds and you could start, you know, recommending cards at that lower price point, but not necessarily sacrificing, you know, being able to play games at like 1080p 60 FPS. This is, this is good stuff. I can't wait to see these cards come out and see what people think of them uh, and get them in on the channel to test here for you guys as well. And let me know your thoughts on the, you know, the performance, the pricing, everything we discussed here today in the comments below, and I will see you down there for discussion and I'll catch you guys next time. And well, later today, actually on TGW should be good. Ta-da! Make AMD great again.